could tell you about Patty. She uh, is in her mid-60s. She's a schizophrenic and has some other mental illnesses. In spite of that, she was working full-time and even owned her own house, which she lived in alone. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she was then in a car accident and sustained some brain damage. And when she came home from the hospital, the neighbor said she was never the same again. They tried to help her. She wouldn't leave even to get food for herself, so they brought her food. What they didn't know is she had been slowly knocking holes in all the walls in her house and tearing out all the wires and dismantling the plumbing. She had done that because she thought there was them in the walls and a little boy in the attic. Uh, there was no one else to help her. The neighbors were just trying everything they could think of. And finally, Adult Protective Services was brought in, and that's how we came into the picture. We became her guardian. We were able to get her stabilized, make medical and some placement decisions for her. And I'm happy to say she's doing wonderful now, so much better. But all of that is possible because of part of our partnership with United Way. We had a sixth grader who's 13 and he'd been struggling in school for a very long time. And, and through time and working with a counselor from the, the United Way funded program, we were able to really meet his needs and identify the conflict. And let's just say, over the course of two years, he's making A's and B's. He's also got a visit from two representatives from Florida State University who gave him a promissory letter of intent and this letter proposes a four-year scholarship to play football. So with that, he was able to identify a, a gift that he had and now he has something tangible in his hand that says he's, he's important. Well, yeah, we have been a, a tremendous help to Children's Home Society because you know, sometimes um, our agency go through so so much of financial burden that we want to help, but you know, there's only so much money allocated for the program. So with with, with United Way, you come in and you step in and you pick up the part that you know we can't do. We serve over 650 of Marion County's most vulnerable young children, those children under five, and their families. And we could not do that without the support of United Way. In the very beginning, United Way made it possible for us to exist. We were a very tiny charity with mostly volunteers. And if it hadn't been for the support of United Way, we wouldn't even be here today. We couldn't do our work without donors. And we have to raise $1 for every $4 of federal funding that we have. And that comes through volunteering, that comes through funding from United Way, and it comes from the community coming together to give. These funds do matter to not just us, but to the students and the families that need them. Thank you to all the donors because they're the blood, the lifeblood of United Way and the reason that we got the help from United Way we did. We've, we're a more mature organization now, thanks in part to them. We definitely can thank them for their continued support because without the nurse program we wouldn't be getting the system, the medical system navigated. We wouldn't be able to have our folks be as healthy as possible and as independent as possible. So thank you United Way and thank you donors. Thank you for helping us give hope to this generation. Thank you for making a difference. Thank you for living United.